Hello everyone and welcome back. Another game dev challenge has concluded. This theme was generating art. So anything related to that with the gameplay influenced by the graphics or the art of some kind. And so first we have a submission from Epic Knight 999. Uh, this is a really cool game. It's kind of a color Dominion Wars. Think like Splatoon, but with uh, tadpoles, I guess. And I don't know if that texture is water or forest or something underneath uh, but what was really cool about this game is that first of all the map is really big and that actually caused kind of a technical error um, it went outside of apparently my allowed heap space uh, I have like 8 gig of RAM so I feel like my heap space should have been fine for this but who knows Java is wonky I haven't used Java in a very long time for like a personal project uh, but it seems to be a common language so yeah both both of the submissions today are done in Java using uh, Java graphics libraries. So that seems like a good place to get started. I just haven't personally used it. So I don't know a lot of the ins and outs of possible errors, but this game. Um, so at first I was a little bit confused. I knew from the readme and the GitHub repository that clicking fires projectiles and then otherwise you run around and obviously you want to get your color as the biggest color. Now I think the upper left timer, and by the way, my recording software cropped this. I'm very sorry. The upper left timer, I think might generate a new little blue guy every time it goes down, I think. And then the other one might be our score, but I wasn't sure. I think I wasn't sure how the colors on the ground related to us winning, but after after I died a couple of times, because I was playing this for a little bit, it was very relaxing, <laughs> just going around filling up my color. It reminded me of those like web games like Slitherio or something. Now I'm gonna go after those guys because I think in order to win you have to you have to you have to kill some dudes. <laughs> but I could totally see this as like an online multiplayer sort of game. Um, but it looks like you have to kill everyone. See right there, right there, wait for it, wait for it. And I win. So I wasn't really sure what the winning conditions were. But anyways, I think this could be an awesome game if you continue with it, like a multiplayer game or something like that. Uh, but here we have TDC's submission. I think it's called Paint Splash. And it's a really cool game. I wasn't sure if you could select a color or a background, if you saw that on the menu back there briefly, but I think that would be really cool if there were different themes or you see these white blocks here are kind of like obstructions. Basically, I'm shooting at right now in AI. We both have a health meter. So I think the goal is just to kill the other person, kind of like the last game, but as a byproduct, we make a painting. And one thing I couldn't, understand or that I couldn't get to work was I saw in your screenshot that you had it so that it could zoom out and see the painting at the end and I wasn't sure how to do that but as you see as we kill people um, new things generate and we get new colors and it's very cool and one thing I could totally see this if you continue with it is um, if you maybe started out making the canvas smaller, like if you had different levels and different situations and maybe you force the AI to be certain colors and I don't know, maybe you could recreate um, paintings or images if you have the blockades and the obstacles positioned in different ways. I think there's a lot of potential with this as well for a really cool multiplayer experience or even just a really cool, I don't wanna say puzzle game, but just really cool uh, game design that could come out of it and you could see the painting at the end and then maybe it would look like uh, like it would have a certain form or something like that um, but as a true usability tester um, I don't know how that happened <laughs> as you can see I just went outside the bounds and I can't get back in I didn't see anything in particular that I was doing I I'm really not sure how I got out of bounds and so at this point, I did what any rational person would do, and I responded to the call of the void. That's like a real term that happens when you feel the urge to just jump off a cliff and you were responsible and made sure that I uh, <laughs> stayed on the same plane. But I wonder how far I could go into the darkness before some weird memory errors would happen. <laughs> anyway, great submissions, everyone. I can't wait to see what everyone will do for this month's dev challenge. We have six weeks, extra long time to work on projects inspired by artificial intelligence, whether that's the story, a character, the gameplay, something technical. This month's July, August theme will be 
artificial intelligence. So I hope you all make something, even if you've never made anything before. And most importantly, have a happy day wherever you are. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.